Bigfoot, it's the holidays. Do something! And that is why I told my kids that Santa does not exist. But then I forgot they were not my kids, and I was fired as a mall Santa. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Also, don't remember inviting you to my house, but I guess that's okay. Isn't Christmas just great? I mean, Santa finally gets off his lazy ass and does something with his life. Um, the Charlie Brown Christmas special is on, and everyone forgets about that. And everyone is kind to one another. Speaking of which, Merry Christmas, Poutine. Monsieur, you're not supposed to say that. Okay, then what do I say? Happy Holidays. Poutine, that's ridiculous. I don't know what religion celebrates holiday. You're an idiot. Now, I know that the season is full of happiness and whatnot, but it's also about gifts. So, I'm sending this little gift to you guys. This is a review of Transformers Dark Moon. Who put this tree in my house? Well, since Christmas is associated with a big fat man in red, I decided to do a review of a big fat man in red. And that would be Leadfoot. Who died in the movie. Yeah, I'll have a large transformer with a side of pet. And with that, I'll have a red versus blue DVD. Before we take a look at the that, let's take a look at the awesome thing. The human. With the Target logo. The silver, that, it's red, black. Also, I really hate Target right now. Um, yeah. Now, Steel Drive transforms into this missile launcher, which looks like an engine block. It would be cool if it could plug on somewhere, like some of the mech tech weapons, just so that you can have a little bit of fun. But, uh, unfortunately, the only place to put it is right here, and that kind of looks awkward. It does launch the missile, and once you do, you can actually transform the figure. And the transformation is really simple, but it makes for a nice-looking dog. Maybe? I question that. It's very questionable, but it does open its mouth and close it, and I guess it's better than uh, the human, so you get this out of the set. It's not bad, but I don't think it's the highlight of the set. If you think that dog is scary, you should look at reindeer. I mean, damn. Shit. Take a look at Leadfoot. I mean, by God, look at all these logos. Logos include the Target logo, which sucks. Impala, Chevy, Sprint, Autobot logos, Tum. Uh, what is this? Cottonelle, Lysol, and Energizer, as well as the 42 logos, of course. So much advertising! I mean, what is this, Christmas? Oh no, someone drank all my Coca-Cola! Of course, this isn't all of the logos that the car has, but I'm actually quite surprised with how many logos it actually has. And it does have a one-up from the Takara one, because the Takara doesn't really have a lot of these logos, so... Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Unfortunately, it does not roll quite well, or at least how I have it. I don't know if I've missed something, but it doesn't really want to roll too well. You can open the door and put the human inside, although it's just going to be a hassle. It's actually got a steering wheel and some seats. Some nice grating detail, and it's actually got transparent orange windows. Comparing them to Robuster, now Robuster has the robotic bits, which is quite unfortunate that Leadfoot doesn't have any. It's not accurate to the version in Dark of the Moon. The good news is, though, Leadfoot doesn't look that bad, so I'm actually kind of happy with how he looks. The unfortunate part is, although he is the cheaper alternative to the Deluxe, if you guys get this, he is definitely going to be out of scale if you decide to pick up the Deluxe figures with it. 
Now there's Lightfoot in alt mode, let's go ahead and transform him. I'm going to try to do something a little bit new with the transformations, and I'm going to talk and do commentary over the transformation. If you guys don't like this, then please comment below, but it is something that I'm trying out. Anyways, with Leadfoot's transformation, it is definitely complex, and you're going to have some problems partway through. But I gotta say, it is quite fun to see some of the engineering techniques they try to do. Unfortunately, with some of the gimmicks, it actually gets in the way, and some of the choices I just don't really like, and it doesn't really add up to a nice looking transformer when you complete the transformation. Still though, it's a little bit fun, but it's a little bit of a hassle. So here's Lightfoot in his robot mode, and he is not perfect. By any means, and one of the major things that is wrong about this toy has to do with one of its gimmicks. Now, one of its gimmicks is you're supposed to take out these guns which come out of the belly. Yeah, don't know why, but okay, I'm not going to argue with it. Anyways, you're supposed to put in the human right here, and he's supposed to fire off the guns and whatnot, and it's kind of weird and I don't like it. So, that's a gimmick. I mean, you guys might like it, but... I'm just not a big fan of it. The unfortunate side to that is, because of that gimmick, and because they need that emptiness, you see the doors? They're in the way of the arms, and I don't like that. The good news about this toy is, while he's never going to be perfect, you can change up his guts quite a bit. You can lift these up, you can pull the tires back, you can even fold this flap up if you guys want, and have something like that. What I do with this gut is I leave it like this and then I pull the doors to the back. It's not the perfect thing to do with this and it's not going to make him accurate, but I just like that. He has a nice design, a nice shape to him, and I don't know, I just kind of like it. It's my preference. You may be able to alter him, but there's no getting away from that gut. I mean, he clearly has been packing at least a few candy canes. Now one thing I don't like is the hands. I mean, it's got a thumb, it's got fingers, it's got this, but it doesn't have any wrist rotation. Yeah, because Age of Extinction did that so well. He could grab the human if he wants. He could take his dog for a walk. Or to battle. But because the elbow joint is right here, all he's going to do is beg. Spare some change. I need to buy me a brisket. One thing that I find kind of stupid, kind of laughable, and I only found this out yesterday, is he has this joint right here. And that's supposed to give him arm articulation. But then, he has another joint right here. And I, I don't know why he has that joint. Maybe to lift up his arm more? I don't know. Why? The best thing is, he has an armpit steering wheel, so th that's good. We, thank God, because we, we were running out of those. He's got a huge backpack, but I see nobody complaining. What do you say about Age of Extinction Optimus Prime? But check this out, he's got a swag lever and swag. Articulation is kind of a mess, actually. You got some weird joints and some necessary joints, of course, but then you also get some things that get in the way, and it's just not the best. Another cool gimmick is you can plug this onto the side of the arm, so there's that. If you don't like the chain on steel jaw, you can actually disconnect that and put this in storage, although it's not fun to do. Get in there! Oh yeah, did I mention that his hip joints are kind of loose? Comparing him to Roadbuster, yes, he is a lot shorter, but you're definitely jealous that there is no Human Alliance topspin. Comparing him to these two, yes, he is out of scale. But I feel that it's not bad, and this guy is definitely a cheaper alternative than getting the deluxe version. Although in alt mode, he doesn't really go into scale. In robot mode, he actually fits in quite well. Also, Robuster, goddamn, you, you look like you just went through the sewers. If you want, you can also plug some weapons on the top there. Hey look, it's Christmas with the Wreckers! The all-new movie coming to DVD... 
Never. So with that said, let's go to my overall review. So overall, do I highly recommend Human Alliance Leadfoot? I would say he's not good, he's not great, but he, he's not bad, and I like him. I don't understand why I like him so much. He is definitely not perfect. Kind of like the holidays in a way. I mean, you kind of expect it to be perfect, but it's not always going to be perfect. In fact, something really bad could happen. But you know what? You know that there's people who love you out there. You have family and friends, and just by the end of the day, you like it. You love it. You love the experience that you had, and you don't regret anything. And to you, that's perfect. So, I'd like to wish you guys a happy holiday, and I hope you guys enjoy Star Wars Episode 7, because it's going to be awesome! Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches.